Hey Posse, it's India Monet the Baddest. Welcome back to my channel. And this is another Martha's Vineyard review. So the first episode, I was on camera. Last season, season one, I did all voiceovers. So I'm just trying to figure out which one is better. Let me know down in the comments, you know, which one you you rather see on camera. You'd rather me do um, a voiceover like this or you don't care as long as I put it out. Just let me know. So it's... <sighs> So it's day two on the vineyard and there's a lot of things happening. Okay, tell me, are y'all right now, leave a comment down below. Are you team Summer or are you team Alex? Because I feel like Summer is tripping, but we're going to get into it, okay? So first off, the episode kicks it off, okay? The boys are talking about Summer and Alex and Amir just jumps out the gate and says, women are always upset when they in love. And I agree because we don't get into it but summer tries to play alex and i don't like how she tries to do that because we don't make the math is not math and okay so then um alex talks about how he just couldn't trust summer because of the whole picture thing and i'm just really trying to figure out how did a picture from summer get sent to jordan and then nick sees it i feel like that's just kind of like breaking girl code like i'm just confused on what happened there like did they talk about that or like what because yeah, that was weird. So then they talk about rebeating. Like, they saying, like, oh, yeah, like, Summer is on some BS, but you should, like, rebeat. And I'm like, I've never heard this phrase before. Like, I've heard, like, spin the block. Like, I want to hit it again, like, one last time. And it's just very weird that Nick brought this up as well. And, and I think Amir was the one that was like, why are you saying this? Is it because, like, you want to hit or, like, what? And I was just like, yeah, Nick, why are you? Like, I don't think Nick is creepy, but he's just awkward. Like, he just says weird things and does weird things and it's like his quirky personality i don't think it's to be taken like to heart but we'll get into that as well um i think that he wants to hit summer i think nick thinks that all the girls are attractive and he kind of likes each of them in like a a friend type of way like oh you're attractive maybe 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 but we cool type stuff like that's what i think so there's so the so Noelle throws her night and it's decades night. First of all, again, I love Noelle. She may easily become my favorite on the show. I can tell you that right now. So decades night, Jasmine dressed up as a housewife and Amir ate Jasmine up saying like, why aren't we supposed to come as something that we're not? And you came just as like a traditional wife and you be turning butter and shit. <laughs> I said, damn, Amir ate the girls up. Preston, uh, my favorite. He dressed up as Tupac on Juice. And I agree. If you ain't never seen Juice, you ain't black. That is, like, one of my favorite black movies. I agree. And then I think Shanice goes, it must have not been that good because I don't remember it. Girl, I wouldn't expect you to see anything like that. Now, what really pissed me off was that nobody knew who Nick was because he low-key do look like Arthur Ashe. And I'm like, so y'all don't know the black history. That's what's wrong with our generation. Y'all don't know y'all black history, and it really pissed me off. Especially once he said he was Arthur Ashe, I was like, oh, yeah, I see it. Like, you're Arthur Ashe. Why don't y'all know who Arthur Ashe is? I don't know. I went to a black school growing up in elementary school, and we learned a lot of black history and a lot of those black people who were like, you know, Montemayu in history. But that's neither here nor there. Bria, she was cute. I mean, she dressed up as a rapper, and she was saying how she – was in a girl group and how she used to be a rapper. And I was like, wow, I would have never, never guessed that. Um, Amir dressed up as Nick. And I thought that was kind of weird. It, it, Like, I don't know. Let me know. What did you think about that? Like, Amir dressing up as Nick. I just felt like it was kind of like dig riding. I don't know. It was just weird. Like, I love and I stand a bromance. But I don't know. I felt like it was kind of weird. And then Shanice doesn't dress up. And she's, she dressed up as basic. And I don't know, I feel like it wasn't in a gag thing. It was weird. I literally hate when people don't stay on theme. That's why I'm like, Noel, you're my girl. Like, yeah. So then they all go in the house and they all started this card game. And I'm low key like, okay, what's going on here? I feel like there was a lot going on. Then all of a sudden the question gets thrown out of there. Who's the worst dress out of the group? And to my knowledge, I think that this was someone else's question. But Summer goes ahead and says, I think Shanice is the worst dressed person out of the group. So Shanice, uh, you know, she overhears this. She She's running and she's like, oh, like, what's going on? Who said what? Who said that? Who said that? And she said, oh, y'all all wear fake shit. And I'm the real bitch, pretty much. And I said, oh, nah, that's how you clear, bitch. Okay. I'm like, 
Okay, but then she starts running out. She starts crying. And at first, I'm like, why is this girl boohoo crying? Like, it's not that serious. Like, you ate her up. Like, you know, let's move on. And <laughs> Preston goes, yeah, I'll be wearing my Gucci with only one C, but it still be eating the girls up. And I said, I know that's all right, because one thing about me, I don't care. So then it comes out that she said that she didn't have a job and she doesn't have money to buy clothes. So I'm like, oh, okay. And apparently Summer is the only person who knew this information. And y'all are supposed to be best friends. So my question to Summer is, why did you think it was okay to basically shade your friend in front of all these people and you know her situation? No one else does. And then you talk shit about her. Like, I just thought that that was just so fucked up up and the only person that checked up on her was Bria and that was, I'm now I'm just like bro Summer you're a bitch like it's not like you top notch dresser like you were a top notch dresser either like first off like you tripping over Alex who not even your man and now you talking shit about your friends like you're off to a bad start okay so in the midst of all this, like the girls are turning up, people are twerking, and Amir is just like, oh my God, my girlfriend, my girlfriend. Oh my God, let me go in the room. So then he accidentally sends his girlfriend this text like, hey babe, like what are we eating or some, something weird. I forgot what the text said. And then he's like talking to his girlfriend because his girlfriend's clocking it like, uh, who's that text for? Because it was very awkward. Like it was a like this text clearly wasn't to me i was confused when he was who he was supposed to be sending to was he supposed to be sending to somebody in the house because let me know so then he goes and throws nick under the bus like oh like nick is watching everybody twerk this is not what's best for him and tasia boy shut the hell up ain't nobody talking to you what are, what are you doing so who did y'all think that amir was talking to in that text message it's just really weird um, let me know what y'all think about the text message. And then on top of that, while the girls are twerking, Shanice is like flashing people. My question to Shanice is, why are you always flashing people? It's a little weird. I don't want to see your titties. Like, come on now. You know? But anyways, because that was Noelle's event, I love Noelle. She's beauty. She's brains. And I think she's such a good addition to the show. So going on to the next girly, Jordan opens up about her hair journey, which I think is a huge, you know, step, a huge milestone, like, very vulnerable like you know really good for jordan because i feel like she wasn't vulnerable last episode with um jasmine's conversation so to see her open up about her own struggles about uh this thing with losing hair is is and for of course for black women if you're black if you're a black woman and you watch the show you know i felt for jordan i was like damn that's really sad and whatever shoot she did that made her get a perm i said girl you need to sue them that is ridiculous so the next day, um, the group splits up. Half the group goes to the gym. Half the group goes to brunch. Well, I won't say half the group. I'll say what they're calling the Mean Girls group. <laughs> Have you all seen on social media they call in Summer, Jordan, and Preston the Mean Girls? I don't really necessarily agree with all of that. I mean, I like Preston. Jordan has been coming off across a Mean Girl. Summer definitely is a Mean Girl. Okay. So they're at the table and they're discussing. And basically, they talk about nick getting handsy and do y'all think that nick is doing too much i think that nick goes along with the vibes and i feel like he's a guy i feel like i don't know i just don't see him doing anything bad i feel like he seems like a touchy person like some people are just touchy people and if you don't want someone to touch you then you need to make that clear that's my thing i feel like when jordan always has problems with a guy, she doesn't speak up. Like, she's like, last season, she spent half the season saying, like, people are over-sexualizing her and yada, yada, yada. But I'm like, you never stood up for yourself and said, I don't like this. Yes, I was in Playboy, but I honestly don't like this and this and that. Like, you have to tell people these things. I think because they're all close and cool, I think Nick just is just, like, a person who touches people a lot because he loves them and he likes them as people. And I... I don't know. I don't get like weird vibes from him. But what do you think? Do you think that Nick is doing too much? Do you think that he's being too touchy and not respecting his girlfriend? Um, they talked about how they think that Nick is not happy with his girlfriend Tasia. I don't think that Nick is. I don't know. I don't Nick and Tasia since we don't see Tasia that much. We saw her a little bit last season. I don't know. I don't know if he's happy. I and I don't know if he's disrespecting her. I just feel like. I don't know. I just feel like Nick is a person who just touches people, period. Because even like his bromance with Amir, I think that they all are just really close. I don't know. That's how I feel right now. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. 
Also at brunch, Preston asked Summer, well, how was the D with Alex? Like, and this girl pissed me off. She goes on to say it wasn't passionate. Like, oh, he's a good kisser and a good cuddler. But, bitch, you did not go through all of this. Was beefed up with this man as soon as he came in the door just to be like, oh, the D wasn't all that. No, it has to be all that. It has to be number one for you to be so beefed up to, with this man because he didn't invite you to a public event, number one. And you didn't even speak to him when he came in the door. And you was just so, you had the biggest attitude talking about some. Oh, you're a fuck boy. You're a fuck boy. Well, yeah, he told you that. So she was saying like, oh, like he's not on the roster. It's not that serious. So bitch, what the fuck you tripping for? You're not tripping if it's not that good. Like, let's be FFR. Let's be so for real. And then at the gym, everyone's talking about Shanice versus Summer and Shanice says she feels like Summer's jealous of her because basically Shanice gets men. Shanice gets niggas, okay? And so she was just like, okay, I get guys. You know, I think Shanice said she had a sugar daddy. You know, she just, it comes to ease with her. And with Summer, it probably doesn't. Well, Summer, because it seems like you have a stank ass attitude, you know? And so, I don't know. To me, Summer seems very insecure in who she is. And it's just, it's just very weird. But let me know what you guys think. Shanice versus Summer. Let, let's get into it. And do you think that Summer is jealous of Shanice? I don't know if I would go as far as to say it's jealousy, but there is something there. I don't know. And also, do you think that Summer is lying about Alex as Z? Do you think the D has to be good? Because it has to be good for her to be tripping like that. And then towards the end of the episode... We see that Noel really didn't realize that Alex and Summer had a thing. Because, mind you, Noel said she talked to Summer and said that she was interested in Alex. She sees Alex around New York, so she was excited to meet him. And Summer acts as if she was going to put Noel on with him. And they're supposed to be friends. So the fact that Summer didn't tell Noel that she actually smashed Alex was really weird to me. Because I... As a friend, if I tell you I'm interested in a guy and you say, oh, yeah, we hung out, I would be like, oh, like, what type of hangout? Like, what, what does that look like? But, yeah, the fact that you didn't disclose that y'all had a fling, a thing, had sex, like, you should have spoke up and told me that. That's weird. Like, even if you don't think that it's going to go beyond anything or y'all not own that no more, I think that I am owed that explanation that y'all had something going on. So I can be like, oh, well cool, I'm not going to mess with you because you mess with somebody. Like, I'm not going to mess with him because you actually had a thing with him. And the fact that Summer goes on to say, like, I don't owe anybody an explanation of who I had sex with. Da, 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 da. Girl, you're a bitch. You're a bitch. Like, I don't like that. Like, Noelle was being honest with her and was saying like, oh, like, I just wanted to know. I think you should be able to tell me. Da, da, da. I don't want to, you know, be messing with nobody that my friends mess with. That's weird. And, the, and then Summer, you literally blew up the freaking lobsters and tails, the tails and tails dinner with your sex drama with Alex, all for you to be like, oh, I don't owe you explanation. I don't need to tell anybody or disclose anybody in my sex business when you just air down the table. Which one is it, sis? Please let us know. And we wrap up the episode with Nick. Nick said, I'm sending all business because Preston said, yeah, I heard that you're being handsy and the girls are going to talk to you. And Nick is like, I'm so confused. And he went up to the girls and said, do, you, do I make you guys be uncomfortable am I do I make you guys uncomfortable and I understand it because Jordan and Summer never speak up and I just don't think that Nick means any harm but I love that he pulled up and was like hey like y'all are my friends like if I'm making y'all uncomfortable let me know like what's going on and they were both were like yeah sometimes you can be a little handsy I think that's a conversation y'all need to get up out the bed turn the lights on sit down and have a a conversation because for a woman to say a man makes her feel uncomfortable this is a serious I you know this is a serious matter, and I think that it should be taken serious. And I'm I'm glad that Nick is taking it serious and isn't brushing it off and being like, oh, whatever. I'm glad that he's like, okay, let me be accountable. Let me ask the girls, do I make y'all uncomfortable? And I'm excited to see where that conversation goes. And I hope that Summer and, and Jordan can be honest. So let me know what you guys thought about this episode. This is episode two of Martha's Vineyard. And it was really juicy. It looks like the next episode will be juicy as well. I cannot wait to see what's next. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe. Give it a thumbs 
up. Leave some comments down below. And I'll see you next week for another episode of Martha's Vineyard. Bye. Pussy out.